Thousands of unwanted calls and hundreds of unwanted texts. Just some of the harassment Hillsborough County deputies say a woman endured for more than a year. Do it six ABC Action News reporter Clifton French is live to reveal the violent ending and where you can turn for help. Clifton. Yeah, that man's in jail right here, right now. But according to deputies, the harassment that lasted for more than a year was mainly over the phone for that year. But this weekend, that harassment turned into a violent altercation. We're not saying exactly where this happened to protect the identity of the woman attacked, but it was in this apartment building in Hillsborough County where deputies say a man stalking an ex-girlfriend turned violent. The arrest report describing a terrifying scenario where 37-year-old Damian Clark went to his ex-girlfriend's house with a gun. According to the report, she was leaving her home when he walked up to her with that gun, pushed her back inside, hit her several times with the firearm, then grabbed her by the throat. All of this after thousands of unwanted phone calls and hundreds of text messages. He even loitered outside of her apartment and vandalized her car. There are definitely red flags. This is not normal behavior. Pat Riley Sanderson is an advocate at CASA, a domestic violence outreach organization. She says as soon as you feel threatened, start seeking help. Get a restraining order if someone is harassing you. Just so that he is not, he's told by an official, someone like a judge, that he can't be around her um, and that he has to keep a certain amount of feet away from her. In this case, the victim pulled out her own gun to defend herself, but deputies say Clark took that gun away from her and put it in his own pocket. Pat says incidents like this are why victims should seek help as soon as those red flags appear. It can be at any point in a relationship that someone gets this way. And if you need help or know someone who needs help in a domestic violence situation, we have a ton of resources on our website, abcactionnews.com. You can find the domestic violence hotline on our website, plus a bunch of uh, local resources uh, to get you and your family member or friend uh, the help they need. I'm reporting live in Hillsborough County, Clifton French, ABC Action.